Welcome back. Normally at this time in the show, we have a section called Ask Family Practice, where a uh, person will write in and ask a question. Well, tonight we're going to do, instead of just one question, we're going to do several questions with short answers about summertime illnesses. And here to help me answer those questions is my partner at Family Practice and my daughter, Dr. Amanda Fox, an internal medicine and pediatric physician. All right, question number one. Okay. Are sunscreens toxic and should we use them? So we should definitely use sunscreen. Um, using sunscreen is super important. Also staying in the shade, wearing a hat. There are two different types of sunscreen. There's um, a chemical sunscreen um, and a mineral sunscreen. So the mineral is your classic zinc sunscreen. Um, either one is really a good option. Um, you, you can start using sunscreen um, on your baby when they turn six months old. Before that, they really need to stay in the shade. So. All right, um, what factor? So around 30 SPF. All right. Yeah. Next question, what diseases can insect repellent help prevent? Yeah, so the first one obviously is an itchy bug bite, um, but then tick-borne illnesses are really important to think about. So Lyme disease, which is not super prevalent in Kentucky, but if you travel, you can get that. Rocky Mountain spotted fever, ehrlichiosis, West Nile, so things like that. Any certain kind of insect repellent you ought to use? So it really needs to have DEET in it. Again, you can start using that at six months old. All right, next question. What are some good over-the-counter allergy medications? Yeah, so there's a lot of options out there. Um, uh, the um, second generation antihistamines are the ones that aren't gonna make you as sleepy. The first one, the first generation is Benadryl, which is a really great option, but it's gonna make you sleepy. Um, so Zyrtec, Allegra, Claritin, Zizol, um, those are all great options in pill form. But really the thing that's gonna help your allergy symptoms the most is a nose spray, so Flonase. And we're right into the season right now. Yeah, we're having a pretty bad allergy season, so. All right, next question, if I can get it up here. How do you clear up poison ivy? So uh, first thing about poison ivy is prevention. So if you're doing yard work, you're pulling a bunch of weeds, you wanna wear long sleeves, gloves, take a shower as soon as you can after you've been out in the yard. Um, but over-the-counter hydrocortisone, um, or which is a steroid will help a lot with itchiness um, and if it gets really bad and you're scratching it a lot you might need to see your family doctor. What about home remedies? Some people say I pour bleach on it. Is that a good idea? No, that's probably just going to dry out and irritate your skin. Alright, and if you see your doctor they got some things a little stronger. Right. Alright, next question. Can you get food poisoning from picnic foods? So you can if you don't keep things refrigerated. Mayonnaise is one of our big culprits. If it gets warm, um, then you can certainly get a bad food poisoning from that, so. What, uh, what are some symptoms of food poisoning if you get it? So nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Um, sometimes the diarrhea can have blood in it. Um, so certainly if you see anything like that, we'd want you to come in so we could check you out. Okay. Do you, if you think you have food poisoning, should you see your doctor? So that kind of depends. If it's short lived, you don't see any blood in your stool, you're able to kind of keep yourself hydrated with some liquids at home, like Gatorade or Sprite or popsicles, and you start feeling better after 24 hours, it's okay to kind of stick it out at home. All right. Next question Is it safe to swim in a lake? So it is safe to swim in a lake. You know, it, it's lakes are not chlorinated. They don't have the chemicals to sterilize it like pools do. So you do have a little bit higher risk of coming in contact with a parasite or a bacteria. So if you are sick or you have an open cut or an open sore or something like that, you might want to wait and let that heal up before you get in lake water. Um, but generally it is safe to go swimming in, in lakes. Is there a certain time, you know, uh, a certain disease or something that you have that you don't want to get into the lake with? So if you're immunocompromised, you know, if you're on chemotherapy or um, if, you know, your immune system is low for whatever reason. Okay. Um, now, this next question is really not necessarily a summertime illness, but we're, we're seeing a lot uh, in the news lately and some resurgence of measles. Mm -hmm. So uh, we get a lot of questions in the office. How do I know if I need the measles vaccine? Yeah. So if you were born before 1957, 
like you, you were, you're immune to measles, okay? You didn't need the shot, okay? Um, but um, after that, you know, the only way to be absolutely certain is to get a blood test to check and make sure you're immune, but you're probably immune. If you have a record of having two measles vaccines, um, you're immune to the measles, okay? The um, vaccine is a lifetime vaccine. Um, and the, uh, one of the things that they check on women that are pregnant is a rubella titer. So if you've been pregnant in about the past decade, they've probably checked that on you and that's in the measles vaccine. So if you're immune to rubella, there's a high chance that you're immune to measles. So what's, what's the importance of getting vaccines? So, you know, measles is a, is a dangerous virus that, um, you know, we, we don't have a lot of treatments for. It can get in your spinal cord. It can be really dangerous to both young and old people. Um, and so, it, you know, getting the vaccine to protect yourself, but also pr to protect the people around you that um, are, are not as strong as you. So the measles vaccine is not indicated until you're a year old. You can talk to your pediatrician and sometimes we can do it at six months. Um, so you just, you know, it's really important to keep those, those babies healthy. So. And vaccines in general are a good thing. Yes, they are a very good thing. All right. Thanks for the information. Thanks for helping us keep us healthy this summertime. We'll be right back.